one of the challenges of gardening can be those furry creatures that want to come and enjoy your garden with you. Rabbits, moles, even deer, antelope, moose, depending on where you live. So the best way to deal with any of those creatures is to exclude them somehow. That's one of the great things about high tunnels is that we have our plants growing in an enclosed environment. The same rules apply for your outdoor gardens. A good fence is the best control strategy. It's also a good idea to bury some chicken wire or hardware cloth six to 12 inches deep around the base of that fence to keep animals from tunneling in. So you wanna think about this when you are building your high tunnel. And a great idea is to dig a trench around the perimeter. And when you install the cover, bury that plastic six to 12 inches deep along all sides. So one of the trouble spots in your high tunnel is going to be the door. If the door doesn't close tight over the ground, put something in place there. So it's a kind of a tight seal to prevent any animals from getting in. For those of you who live outside of the city limits, you may have some other control options to keep those wascally wabbits out of your high tunnel. From the University of Wyoming Extension, this is Chris Hilgert, and you're watching From the Ground Up.